This is a 32 inch 4K monitor from BenQ. It costs $800. And this is a 40 inch 4K TV from Vizio and it costs $400. As 4K TVs continue to become cheaper and cheaper, it seems like the obvious thing to do is just buy a new TV to replace your computer monitor. And technically that would work, but there are hidden details and TV specifications that can make for an inferior monitor experience. Hi, I'm David, and this is why you probably shouldn't use a 4K TV as your main computer monitor. So why are computer monitors and TVs so different? Isn't a display just a display? Well, to understand why computer monitors and TVs are different, let's first think about the differences in use case between them. First, a TV. In a typical scenario for a TV, you're watching Netflix, over-the-air TV, Blu-rays, or maybe playing on a gaming console, all while sitting comfortably on your sofa. On a computer monitor, you could still be watching Netflix or playing on a console, but you're also browsing the web, typing a Word document, and playing computer games with your mouse and keyboard up close and personal. When you break it down into these use cases, you can start to highlight the priorities and understand why computer monitors and TVs are often designed so differently. Since TVs are typically used for media consumption, the priorities shift towards features that improve immersion, make the screen bigger, increase the resolution, more vivid colors, or even HDR. And don't forget the multiple HDMI connections and the built-in TV tuner for connecting all your media sources. While these are all things we want in a computer monitor, it's also important to us to have clear, readable text on screen and low input lag for responsive mouse and keyboard operation. So back to our example of our $400 Vizio 4K TV. One of the main problems is that over HDMI, it only supports 4K at Chroma 420. If you don't know what this means, you can click on this other video that goes into more detail, but in short, it means that due to color compression, finer details like text can be lost in transmission. This isn't a big deal when you're watching movies or TV because you'll never notice details as small. But when you're on a computer browsing web pages and Word documents, artifacts from static single pixels can be downright annoying. Although you can find TVs that support 4K 444, so no color compression such as the LG UH6100, but then comes the next problem to consider, input lag. Using 4K at 444, you get an input lag of about 73 milliseconds, and this can be pretty noticeable during typical computer operation. Again, TVs can get away with this because watching videos is a passive experience. And while you could argue console gamers will care about input lag, TVs will often have a game mode that will drop the resolution or switch back to a color compressed signal to minimize input lag, which basically brings us back to our previous problem. So does that mean you should never use a TV as a PC monitor? Of course not. Some TVs will work perfectly fine as a PC monitor. For example, the Sony X700D or the Samsung KU6300. Both support 4K 444 and have reasonable input lag around 30 milliseconds. Or if all you're doing is watching YouTube videos or playing slow paced games, none of this probably matters to you. But for me, chroma and input lag are just a couple of the many things I need to consider if I add a TV to my computer setup. But I hope that helps you understand why TVs and monitors are designed so differently. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. You know what to do, and I'll see you in the next video.